Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my home kit home and in this one we're taking a step back into automation land and looking at some pretty unique automations that we can only get with Vocal Link products and the LinkWise app. These sort of automations are really kind of, they're a little bit sneaky. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't in my experience, but it's good to know how to use them in the event that you want to use them. So what we'll be looking at today is how to take some of the lighting effects that are available in the LinkWise app and kind of porting them over to Apple's Home app. Today we'll be using the Vocalink L1 Smart Color LED bulb, but we can also do this with the Vocalink L2 bulb as well although the because it doesn't have colors it's a little bit different but there are some lighting effects that we can port over you can also do this with any of local links other lighting products such as the flower bud diffuser or the vocal link light strip as well so enough of me babbling on about this let's get into it so here we are in the LinkWise app and we always land on the overview screen but what we want is the programs tab down there at the bottom so we'll go ahead and tap on that one there and from the programs tab we want to make sure that we're in the scenes drop down menu there at the top and then we'll tap the add button the plus button down there at the bottom it's the very last option now our first couple of options here are just for the icon color of the scene itself which isn't transferred through to HomeKit. but what we want is the select device for here so we'll find our device in this case it's the l1 color bulb and we want to make sure that we select all five of the services that are associated with that particular light this includes the power state so now that we see all of our services here we'll go ahead and make sure that our power state is in fact turned on if not that'll give you some frustrating nights also we want to make sure that our brightness is at 100% if we want it there since this is kind of a warning signal we'll go ahead and turn our hue to red to make sure our saturation is where we want it i want it at 100 percent and then we can choose from the lighting effects that are offered by the particular device that we're using finally we'll go ahead and give it a clever name here i'll just choose what went wrong and just like that we have established our brand new lighting effects scene we can see it there in the vocal link app but that's not what we're interested in. let's look at apple's home app to see what it looks like there as you can see there is our scene and if we tap on it well we get a flashing red light well isn't that clever and that's how you do that so pretty interesting right so we didn't really think that this would be possible in the HomeKit framework but there's a little bit of a workaround here and I'm not exactly sure if this is an oversight, if this is something that's actually possible and people haven't really taken advantage of it yet. I'm not really sure, we'll have to wait until iOS 13 comes out and see if we have any of these different lighting effects that show up in HomeKit. But it can be pretty useful, I think. You know, one of the things that I've been doing for quite a while now is I've been using sort of a makeshift, um, let's call it an alarm system. So anytime that nobody is home, right, and one of the motion sensors or one of the contact sensors are triggered and nobody's home, well, all of the lights that are colored in the house turn red. This is theoretically to let whoever's in the home know that I know that they're there, but at the same time, I get a notification and I can contact them either via one of my, my cameras or I can run back to the house and see what's going on. I can call the police, I can call a neighbor, what have you. And I've actually had to use this on a couple of occasions, but thankfully this was a problem with HomeKit and no one actually broke into the house. So how do you think you would use these sort of automations in your HomeKit setup? Let us know in the comments down below. Also in the description box, you can find links to some other related videos to the Vocalink L1 and also to the Vocalink L2. We did a review on those recently and I think you'll enjoy those as well. If you're interested in picking up one of the Vocalink L1 or L2 bulbs, you can find links to those in the description box as well. In that treasure trove that we call the description box, you'll also find links to all of our social media where we've got tons of extra HomeKit related content 
as well as a link to our blog over at myhomekithome.com where you can find more information about these automations and lots of other home kit how-tos and reviews and all sorts of good home kit related material. As always, if you found the video useful, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss any of our new content as soon as it's released. Well, the clock says it's time to go, and that does it for me today. Until next time, this has been Dustin with My Home Kit Home.